Novak Djokovic could face problems in his bid to win more Grand Slams, starting with the U.S. Open next month. U.S. politician Rand Paul has spoken out in support of unvaccinated tennis star Novak Djokovic, amping up the pressure on President Joe Biden to grant a Serb permission to compete at next month's U.S. Open. Djokovic is closing in on Rafael Nadal at the top of the all-time Grand Slam charts. But he is currently fighting the battle with one arm behind his back due to remaining restrictions the U.S. The 35-year-old took his Grand Slam tally to a dizzying 21 by beating Nick Kyrgios in the Wimbledon final last weekend. It undoubtedly meant more to Djokovic after he was deported before the Australian Open earlier this year over public health concerns, which became a global news story. As it stands, he won't be able to add to his Grand Slam hall at Flushing Meadows next month, with the U.S. still requiring proof of vaccination for foreigners to enter the country. Texas State Senator Drew Springer needled Joe Biden over the issue earlier this week and Senator for Kentucky Paul has followed suit. Hooray for heroic stances for medical freedom by Wimbledon champ Novak Djokovic. Boo for unscientific policy of banning visitors to U.S. that already have natural immunity, he wrote on social media in response to a story explaining why Djokovic would be unable to compete. Days earlier, Springer had tweeted, Biden is banning Novak Djokovic from coming to USA to play the U.S. Open but allows millions of unvaccinated illegals to flood across the border. Hey Joe, what's one more unvaxxed person? Hashtag let Novak play hashtag TX hashtag US Open. Unless the rules are changed, Djokovic will be unable to add to the US Open titles he won in 2011, 2015 and 2018. Meanwhile, Nadal will be in contention to stretch his lead at the top of the all-time chart if his injury issues subside. Whatever the case, Djokovic is likely to be made aware of his U.S. Open fate before he lands in New York, which is more than can be said for his debacle in Melbourne back in January. The Serb obtained a vaccine exemption, granted by independent panels, which was set to allow him entry into Australia before an ugly legal battle saw him deported.